All right, guys, so today we're going to talk about transparency in Blender and how to use PNG cutouts, smoke, some fire. And I'm going to show you guys a little bit about how I did my latest render and how I use these techniques. If you guys want to use this Blender layout, uh, the file will be in the description. You just download it, you save it onto your computer, and then you go file uh, defaults and save startup file and then you can always have this ready to go. All right, so first of all, if you have weird square shadows with your transparent objects, you want to just go into your render tab and increase the transparent value until you don't see that anymore. Um, it, it's important to keep this low for your render times. You wanna make sure uh, what you're seeing in your render doesn't have it, so you just continue to increase until it doesn't have it anymore. So if you continue to add more, it'll get harder for it to read. You see there's squares even though I increase the number. So you just continue to increase the value until you don't see that anymore. All right, so for now, I'm gonna put this into a new collection and turn the collection off. Now we can add a brand new png cut out to the scene so what you do is you go to edit preferences and you type image make sure that's checked now you can shift a go to image image as plane and now you can import any png cut out as a plane and this is the best way to do it because you have all this stuff to work with you can play with the roughness and the specular to make it look exactly how you want it. So I'm just gonna put this into place here, change the location of the camera. So with PNG cutouts, if you change the rotation, it's gonna look distorted. So you have to kind of match the rotation of your camera. So if you have a rotated camera, what I do personally is I just go into the camera view and I kind of make sure that it's not too distorted if you want to be perfect, you can copy the rotation of the camera exactly, but in most cases, I think this is fine. You can kind of see if it's rotated too much, just kind of even that out as best as you can. All right, another thing that you can do with this is you can add the image to emission as well. As you can see, it's emitting light now, and you can, you know, you can turn this up as much as you want to and it will emit light. So if I shift A and add a plane, you can see that it's having some emission right there. So also you wanna just make sure that the lighting is super consistent. So I'm gonna change this 0.5. So it's emitting a little bit of light, but it's not too much. So as you can see the difference here. So if you add a little bit of emission, it'll brighten up just a little bit. Okay, so I can see that there's shadows on the right side. So I'm just gonna make sure that this light is consistent with the lighting on the actual image. So if I go here and I add a new material to the floor, I can drag and drop water image to the plane and just put that in the roughness as you can see, it's already doing something here. I want to turn down the value here quite a bit and make it blue. Now I'm going to search for a color ramp. Put that in there. Put that into non-color. And if I do this, I can see exactly what's going on here. And kind of just put that into place as, as you see fit. All right, control shift and click to go back. And now you have a PNG cutout. All right, guys, if we go back to our collection here, we can see that one is emitting light and in the reflection, it's gonna be more apparent if it's emitting light. So you can do a bunch of different types of things with this technique and you can put a cool roughness map on it. So if you see, this is just inside Blender and it's, you, you can just do it for free. And I just put this into the roughness and it gave it a bit of a, you can see it better in the one that's not emitting light, but yeah, you can put roughness maps on it and you can put emissions on it. 
you can do a bunch of different things with it. If you want to add smoke and fire with a mission that is reflecting in your scene as well, this is how you do it. So shift A, just image, image as plane. As you can see, we have this smoke picture and it's on a black background already. So this is basically like in Photoshop, it's just a screen blending mode basically. And what you do is you have this material in your shader editor and you can put the color into the alpha. As you can see over here, it has no black background. So you just put it into the alpha. You also put it into the emission and it will give mission. So it's basically the same thing as screen screen blending mode in Photoshop. And basically I use that for the fire and also the smoke as well. So what I did on this one was I added a hue and saturation to the alpha and reduced the value on here. So if you increase the value, it, get, it gets thick. If you decrease the value, it gets more thin and you can see through it a little bit better. Really nice. Um, I wanted to match the emission because it had a blue tint to it. So I just added a mix color and added these two to mix that color into the emission. And I just used a noise texture and a color ramp to kind of make it look the way I want it to. So going back to the one we just put in here. Um, so what I would do for this is I would add a hue saturation value. Doesn't really do very much on the base color. So I'll just shift D and put that into the emission. So the emission does a lot of color stuff. So I would just kind of make it more of a reddish orange color to try to just kind of match it to the scene a little bit better. So I'd crank up the saturation just to see kind of what's going on over here. So I think that's pretty good and just reduce the saturation to make it a bit more realistic. And um, I would also put a hue and saturation on the alpha and reduce the value here. So we're getting just a little bit of the smoke. It's not too overwhelming. You can make it look realistic as you want to. Uh, if you guys want to use this asset, it's in the description. Just please don't redistribute. It's my personal picture that I took with my camera. So. Just don't redistribute or sell as your own. You guys can use it for whatever you want to. Uh, you can just have it. Uh, same thing with the fire here. So this is basically, this is the fire image here. I just put it in the base color emission and the alpha. Uh, for this one specifically, I used a RPG curves to give the emission a little bit more uh, contrast. Here it is with just normal emission. And if you go down here, it just gives it a deeper color that uh, I personally thought looked better for this render. So this is the max bounces that I use for this specific render. Uh, I, went, I went ahead and went up to eight in the transparent and uh, I did uh, a 2K render at 200%. So it's more like a 4K render. And I made sure just to, uh, just a quick tip for anybody that's curious, I went to preferences and system and I made sure optic X is checked here and here and it made my render time go so quickly I can do 8,000 samples in one minute so at a 4k texture it's about an hour render but there's no like there barely any noise in the scene at all so if you guys have the option to do this I would highly suggest doing that um, for a while. I was just doing, I think it was, it was on none and I was just sitting for a long time waiting for renders when it could have took literal minutes. So that's a, that's a huge tip. Another tip that I can give you guys is if there's like, if you have a smoke asset, say, let's duplicate that real quick. So if you have like a smoke asset in your scene and it's covering the whole scene like this but you kind of need it and it's looking good and you really want that uh that actually looks decent but um a good tip would 
be just to go in here. Yeah, go to viewport display and display as bounds. All right, so for me personally, I just, I right click that, change shortcut, and you can change that to anything you want to. And you can just press your shortcut and change that. If you need to see the texture real quick, go back to bounds, continue working on your scene. You can see through that. So yeah. All right guys, so for this image, I'm gonna do just like a speed art at the very end of the video, just to show you guys what I did in Photoshop to kind of bring the whole image together. I changed the sky, I added a little bit more smoke and uh, just changed the color grade of the whole image as well. And if you guys are interested, you can watch that. But that's all I have for you guys. Have a good one.